Hello guys, it's Jennifer Jenin. As you may be able to see, I look like a complete mess because I got a tiara, some makeup, and I got a, a cape and this. And this is what I look like. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was basically because I was playing with my uh, niece and nephew and yeah. So what I'm going to be doing for you guys today is showing you a book series. Now this may not be the most interesting thing in the world, but to me I love it, so I'm going to be showing you the books. It, the first book is this one. It's called Vampire Kisses by Ellen Schneider. And I'm going to read you the backs and go through all the books. So yeah. This one says, Raven lives in Dolls Bear. Dawesville, when, where nothing ever happens until now. The mansion on top of Benson Hill has been empty and boarded up for years, but a new family has moved in. A family that never ventures out during the day. Who are these people? Who are these creepy people? Especially the handsome, dark, and exclusive Alexander Sterling. Or rather, what are they? Could the town gossip actually be true? Are they vampires? Raven, who secretly convinced a vampire kiss, both at the risk of her own mortality and Alexander's loving trust, is dying to uncover the truth. So this is book one. Book two is Kissing Coffins by Ellen Schneider as well. Um, yeah, so this one, uh, that's Raven also. And this one says, not far from Dawesville, Someone's lurking in the dark. After meeting the handsome and, shadow and shadowy Alexander Sterling, goth girl Raven's dark world has a bright new glow. But as her favorite movie, Kissing Coffins, Raven knows that love always has its complications, especially when Alexander has a big secret to guard. When Alexander suddenly disappears, Raven leaves Dawesville to be begin a dangerous search to find him. Can she, stay, can she stay safe no matter who or what she encounters on the way? I really, really do suggest you guys get this book series because it's so amazing and I love Kissing Coffins because it's a really good book. Well, it's the second book. The third book is Vampire Bill. I recently just read this and got the other two books. This is, this is the third book. What it looks like. Shouldn't Raven here is in the graveyard. And this one says, Can Raven stop Dawesville from becoming Vampireville? For Gothgore Raven, dating her dream boyfriend is complicated, especially because Alexander's secret means they can only meet at night. And now they must be extra wary, with Alexander's arch rival Jagger creeping around town. Then Jagger exquisitely exquisitely pale sister Luna also surfaces and seems to have her sight on Raven's own longtime nemesis. Raven and Alexander must begin a terrifying hunt for Jagger and Luna's secret hideout. Can they drive them away before Dawesville is internally threatened by these menaces of the, from the underworld? This book, this one, it's amazing. Then the one I'm going to about show you, it is the fourth book. It's so amazing. I just recently read this like two whole days ago. I love it. It's called Dance with the Vampire. And I absolutely love this book. It's so amazing. And this one says the most important night of the year is drawing near. Ooh. <sighs> And then there's some cursive words that I'm not going to bother reading. But it says, Dollsville's newest night for night faring intruder may be only a tween, but Raven knows that Valentine Maxwell, the younger si sibling of the, new, of the two nefarious vampires, is a full-size menace. Valentine becomes even more of a threat when he befriends her brother, Billy. Raven must try to shield Billy even as the biggest excitement of the year approaches, attending prom with her immortal love, Alexander. And while Alexander is is one of a kind is one 
is one kind of vampire, sweet Raven soon learns Valentine is another. Could Valentine somehow know Raven's private thoughts and turning into a vampire? Best freaking book ever. You need to read it. And then the book I'm currently reading right now is um, A Coffin Club. I'm currently reading this. I'm on chapter 5 of this book. Um, so this one says, There is a new, there is a hot new underground club in town. It's summer break and Raven knows she should stay put in Dawesville until her immortal love returns. But when she decides to go after Alexander, she can't resist she can't resist a visit to her favorite goth spot, the Coffin Club. Sneaking, sneaking inside, Raven is shocked to discover a secret door that leads to the entrance of another hidden club. There's something particular about this cryptic hangout. It's too exciting for Raven to resist. Soon, a dangerous battle for the club's rule it trips between Alexander's old nemesis and a new mystery guy. Can Raven avoid the clash before her curiosity lands her in serious trouble? Probably. I love this book so much so far. It's amazing. And that was the fifth book. And then the, I don't have the sixth and seventh book, but the sixth book is called Royal Blood, and the seventh book is called Love Bites. And if you want to guys, if you guys want to check these books out, go to your local library, um, a book nook place. I don't know where you get books from, where you guys get books from. But yeah, you can get the the series. Um, of these books and I'm going to show you guys the covers of them one more time. Vampire Kisses. The Coffin Club. Vampire Veil. Ooh, Vampire Veil. Then Dance with a Vampire and The Coffin Club which I'm reading right now. And then, of course, you guys know Royal Blood and Love Bites is the 6th and 7th book. Hope you guys enjoy this. Sorry if it was a teeny bit boring, but um, I love these book series. And I think you guys, that's people subscribed, should read them. And it's just so amazing. And I love it. And, yeah, that's it. And I'm going to end this off with a... Yeah, dance. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, dang. Diddy. Bye, 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 people. Uh...